on this week's edition of Because Some Men Just Want to Watch the World Burn. We have a Hunter 1886 series in black. You don't see too many black ones surface. The fan was manufactured in the third quarter of 1994. Which, unfortunately, means it has a dinky little 172 by, I want to assume, I want to assume 15 millimeter motor. But it is black. Best thing it's got going for it right now. Now, as you can see, the blades aren't correct. The blades are a set of natural wood cane 42 inch Casablanca blades. Solid wood, delightful full blade cane, and short. So basically, this fan is currently a 42 inch fan. Or maybe 44 inch. Yeah, let's say, let's go with 44 inch. So, as for the 1886 series, it is a reproduction of the original Turek. I want to say Type A. That fan was introduced around 1897, maybe 1898, sometime around then. It was a friction drive. It was a god-awful friction drive. But it was one of the very first fans to run on AC current, or alternating current. In 1985, going into 86, which was the centennial year for the Hunter Fan Company, well, they made this. Originally, it was only available in burnished brass. At the very first couple of years, it had a massive 188 by 25 millimeter spinner motor held over from the low profile, also made during the same time. In later years, they downsized it, made it more meh. Anyway, in 1992 or around that, they introduced black and verde. The black finish was unfortunately only available between 1992 and 1995. In 96, black was gone. In 97, it was replaced with iron. Then, in the later years, they introduced one or two more oddball finishes, one of them being some faded yellow vomit finish. But anyway, the fan. It's three speed, like most hunters. The switch housing looks like a little nub, right? Nope, not what it looks like. It's more than it seems. Because this little nub of a switch housing actually bolts onto a deeper switch housing. Okay which kind of is recessed within the beehive. So, and they also said this fan is light kit adaptable. You're probably imagining how? How is this light kit adaptable? This is how. It came with an additional switch housing piece, which would bolt on to the main switch housing. All right, sort of like stacked octagon boxes and electrical boxes. And then a light kit, I mean, this other switch housing piece would have spots for the pull chain and reverse switch. And then you could put whatever the hell you wanted onto it in terms of lights. There, you see that delightful full blade cane. Mm. Don't see many of these sets. So, let's see what it does. As you can also count, it has one of those 
little brass nubs for a fob. That was typically reserved for originals at the time. As your typical hunter hum. Nothing terrible. Low speed is a little fast, but it really is about the same speed as it would be on a Casablanca with a K55. Now, here are some fun facts about the Beehive. The Beehive bolts on to the spinner motor. The spinner motor has, you know, four or yeah, four sets of taps for, you know, normal configuration with any other fan. So basically the beehive bolts on it can it, you know, bolts into those taps. Now the beehive itself no actually the motor itself has a one in fifteen sixteenth inch hole pattern which is standard import. But the beehive has the two and one eighth inch hole pattern, which is more American standard. So, and as you can see, the canopy is of the 45 degree slope variety, because this fan was originally mounted on a sloped ceiling. Very nice install. Too bad you'll never get to see it. Anyway, yeah, let's go to medium. Medium's pretty fast, as I would expect. I may have thought that was a high, high speed, but nope. This is high. Needless to say, the fan flies on high speed. With short blades, it runs very well. The blade pitch is only 12, 12 degrees. I mean, if it had 15 degree irons, no, this thing would fly. And because the beehive mounts to the spinner motor normally, theoretically, you could shove a K55 in here with a thick aluminum metal flywheel, bolt it onto that. And you could have some real power going for this thing, because the beehive is so deep. Okay. And the, the downrod coupler is right above the motor. So the rod kind of just runs into the beehive a bit. And then the lower canopy kind of just covers it. And the lower canopy design, as seen here, is the same as what the upper canopy would look like. So. So, yeah. You see the spinner motor for the beehive as well. Very cool. So, with one of these fans, probably not this one, if I get another 1886, I'm going to mod it. I'm going to modify the hell out of it. Going to give it a K55 and it's going to fly so fast. Anyway, 
let's actually, because the fan is reversible, so let's just reverse it. Let's reverse it real quick. So we'll give you, you know, zero to high. Yep, still flies. So now let's watch it coast. So the 1886 series was introduced in late 1985 and is still available new to this day except not in this exact configuration anymore. Sometime about five, six, seven years ago, I don't know the exact date, but the 1886, they discontinued the four-blade configuration. Instead, gave it, made it a two-blade fan with a 60-inch span, arch end blades, and blade irons that more closely resembled the original design of the Twerk. Which I think is pretty cool. The beehive is cast iron. Which I think is cool. With the original design of this fan, basically with the Turek, the friction drive, it used a an alternating current, what was basically a, a pancake configuration desk fan, fan motor. So it used a desk fan pancake motor with the wheel on the end of it with the shaft, which drove two larger wheels, which then drove the top of the beehive and then the rest of the fan. So as you see here, the beehive also spun with the original concept. Which is friggin' cool. But as we all know, friction drives suck. So, yeah. The original Turk was available between about 19, 1897 up to about, I want to say, 1907. Because at that point, they introduced the first normal, as we know it today, oil bath fan. You know, the first iteration of the original. there you have it, a black Hunter 1886 series with short natural cane Casablanca blades. I hope you enjoyed.